four reasons why I hate Instagram. So over the course of a year or so, I've gotten shadow banned. I've gotten hit with multiple strikes for things that really didn't make sense. And so that inspired me to do this video. Now, first off, who am I and why does my opinion matter? Well, I'm a professional musician based in New York City. I play saxophone professionally. And as far as social media, I am a content creator who makes music comedy related videos. So all my videos are relatable musician videos and I try to make them so that they're relatable to everybody. So even people who aren't musicians like that stuff and laugh at that stuff. And my content does pretty well on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube shorts. And I've had multiple things go viral. And so I really use Instagram to the fullest, which is why I believe I'm a great candidate to talk about this topic. So let's get right into it. Number one, Instagram is shady. So actually another music content creator who I don't want to name because I don't want to drag into this slander video, <laughs> but he pointed this out and it had me thinking. Scheduled content doesn't do as well as content that you post manually. And maybe it's changed now because he pointed that out uh, around a year ago, but I actually noticed that. So there was a time as I started to get more acquainted with the content creation, I started making multiple videos at once. It's called bulk content creation where you make multiple videos and release them within the next week or so. And I made multiple videos, scheduled them. And I noticed that those three videos that I made, they did pretty poor compared to the rest of my videos. Now, they got a decent amount of views. I'm not saying they got like zero views, but my videos at the time were doing like 30K, 40K, 50K. And then those videos that I scheduled for content, they did like 10K and 12K and even 9K at the time. Now they're up now because this was over a year ago or around a year ago. I was just like, why? And the content creator that, that I'm talking about, he said that Instagram suppresses for some reason scheduled content and he thinks it's because they want you to actually be there when you upload the content so that you can have more of an incentive to scroll. Like once you're once you upload that video, you're just going to be scrolling and that's going to be good for the algorithm and good for Instagram. They want you to keep scrolling. So that's why they prefer you to manually upload. Now, I will say I don't know this for 100% certain because you can't really find articles about Instagram. I think they have something with Google and they <laughs> suppress a lot of stuff that is not good for their brand. But I've seen this within my own personal use. And another reason why they're shady, when they first introduced the paid program, the bonus program where you can get paid based off the views of your reels. I was lucky enough to be invited to do that. And this was early in my content creation career, <laughs> if you will. My videos were doing well, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a huge, huge following yet. But I also noticed that when I first did this bonus, once again, just like the last thing, my videos did significantly worse. And mind you, I'm creating the same type of content. The content is pretty well received by my audience, but my videos did significantly worse. And I'm not the only one who said this too. And a lot of us creators suspect that Instagram suppresses those views so they don't have to pay as much. And what do you know, after that bonus program that they had, they completely stopped paying creators. This was a little while back. They made an announcement that they said they don't have money to pay creators and Meta just basically stopped. Now they're doing it again. And so I have the bonus program again. Number two, they don't care about creators. And the crazy thing is, us creatives, we make the platform. So why don't you care about us? So this is interesting. Once again, you know, as creators, we also get access to things that regular Instagram users don't get. One thing I got access to, I'd say about six, seven months ago, I got an email from Instagram and they were saying that, um, because you're a content creator, because you're doing well, you get to have a call with one of our representatives and they'll talk to you and give you even more tips about your strategies and whatnot. And I said, oh, okay, cool. And mind you, this is when I was shadow banned and hit with multiple strikes, which I'm going to get deeper into that later. So still wait. But I was like, okay, this might be my opportunity to talk about my strikes and getting me unshadow banned and everything. And so I set up the call and an Instagram rep calls me and she's looking at my stuff and she's like, wow, you know, your stuff is very well. I'll give you some pointers about how to make it better. First off, you know, you should keep your hashtags to eight hashtags, blah, blah, blah. Like she was actually giving me certain things like actual creative constructive feedback. 
And I told her, I said, you know, I appreciate this call and all, but I can't use any of these things because I'm shadow banned because of so-and-so. And you know what she said? She's like, oh, um, okay, let me send you this link and I can probably get you set up with talking to some somebody with customer service so you can get that fixed. And I can tell she was just trying to brush it off. I didn't think it was genuine. She sent me the link. And after the call, I went to the link and there was no way to talk to a customer service representative. Because on Instagram, you can't, you can't talk. There's no way for you to talk to customer service. I think unless you have the meta verified where you pay for a verified check mark, which I'm not doing that. But she basically lied to me and said that she could probably get me with a representative, which she couldn't. I mean, she just sent me the thing that everybody else sees when they try to go and get help. You know, all the frequently asked questions. That doesn't do anything for me. And another part of that also about the, them not caring about creatives is that this is when Threads came out. The whole call, she was trying to push Threads. And I realized this call isn't to help creators. This call... <laughs> is to push all of the creators to go to Threads because we have an influence and they and Threads is honestly a failed program in my opinion. Threads is terrible. Who's on there? Like it's not especially when it first launched people weren't using it. And they they're like we're going to push the creators to Threads so we can get everybody to Threads. So the whole time in between her giving me pointers about my reels, she's like, "You know, another good thing for engagement is always post on Threads, you know. Um you should post at least 5 times a week on Threads." Okay, so here's some screenshots of the multiple emails that this lady bombarded me with about getting on threads and posting on threads. Oh my God. Be sure to pause the video if you actually want to read through any of these. And then it, we would get back, we would get back to the real stuff and then she would go back. Hey, um, so after I said that, did you go ahead and sign up for threads? And I said, no, I didn't sign up for threads yet. She's like, go, go sign up for threads. And I straight up told her, I said, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do threads. And, and even in a follow-up email, she told me she kept pushing threads. So I was like, oh, this is definitely a call to save their failed platform because the launch, if y'all remember threads, did, did not go well. People still prefer Twitter, which I don't have Twitter either, so I don't really know that culture, to be honest. Check out how the crowd responds to my band playing this. Yeah, that's how we do. I'm gonna cut to the chase. I just released an album and to celebrate, I'll be hosting a party and you're invited. Come party with me on August 2nd at Heaven Can Wait as we celebrate the release of my debut album, Typewriter. It will be me and my band along with the singer who helped make this album what it is, Jasmine James. And when I say party, I mean party. I'll be partnering with party host Practically Dazed in order to make this an experience that you'll never forget. Because look, once my band is finished playing, it's not over yet. We got the DJ Yavin Chops keeping the party going after my band finishes. Tickets are on sale now. Wait one second. This is for my YouTube fans only. Because you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're my loyal fans, I'm giving you $10 off the ticket purchase for this album release party. The reason why? I've noticed while doing this YouTube thing, YouTube fans are more real and more likely to show up to my shows and support my music. So to thank you, I'm giving you $10 off. All you have to do is use this code, you dig. So go to the ticket link, use you dig. And the tickets will be $15 for you instead of $25. Number three, Instagram is buggy. Now, I have a special bone to pick <laughs> with this specific issue because I think I have the most unique issue ever. And let me know in the comments if you all also have this issue. But because of my strikes and shadow bans and whatnot, I decided to make a second Instagram account. I have two Instagram accounts. I made the second Instagram account probably towards the end of 2023. And I've noticed, you know, with the Instagram account that I, my main one that has all the, the followers and all the viral videos, this Instagram account has a lot of glitches. Like the updates don't apply to this account anymore. I'm not able to fast forward during reels because you should be able to do that. Real quick, here's a side-by-side -side comparison with my main account on the left side showing that it doesn't even have the feature to fast forward. Whereas on the right side, my backup account, you can see me using the fast forward feature. Um, I'm not able to go on Instagram live, which is crazy because my account has been currently in good standing. Normally, if you're not able to go on Instagram live, you can go to your account center and go to account status and it'll show you like you did this so you can't go live. But it says everything is in good standing. But it kept saying I can't go live. Um, all the new little widgets and stickers, 
that they updated doesn't apply to my account. Basically, my account has almost an older UI than my other account. And, and, and it's crazy because I, ha I have so many glitches. It's crazy. And I thought I was like, okay, I need to update my phone. I need to update Instagram, right? And I did all that. And I went and my account still had issues. And I was like, wait a second. Let me look at my other account and see if it has the same issues. My other account doesn't. Never once with any program have I seen glitches on an account. Normally, if you have glitches, that's because of your phone or because of your software. No, my account has glitches. And Instagram has this thing where you can log what glitches you have so that they can fix it. And I've logged multiple glitches and obviously I didn't expect it to work and it hasn't, they haven't done anything. Another thing about Instagram being buggy is its draft feature. A lot of times when I make content, I don't, like I said, I don't do scheduled content anymore. So I make it in Instagram, do all the captioning, all the hashtags, and then I save it as a draft and then I upload it at whatever time of day I think will do the best for views and everything. Well, lately when I upload drafts, I go back to the drafts when it comes time for me to upload the video and all of my stuff is gone. Like all my progress is gone, all my hashtags, all the people who I've tagged, my whole caption. And it, but it doesn't happen all the time. It only happens sometimes. And so now I save my caption and everything in the notes because one day it might save in drafts, other day it doesn't. And I don't understand. And also, real quick, this is like a honorable honorable mention, but the scheduled content, it scheduled content has this thing where it'll say, just know certain features won't be saved when you schedule content. Okay, what features? <laughs> like, that? this is weird. Why don't you tell me what features? That's just weird to me. And so I'll schedule the content, and then a couple things that I did didn't go through. Instagram, fix your sh**. The fourth and final reason, the review and appeal process is such bull Okay, so I've been talking about how I got shadow banned and how I got strikes. Well, now I'm going to actually go in depth with it. So I'm not going to provide the specific details, but I did a questionnaire on my story where you can reply to the story and then I can share your reply. It's a feature on Instagram. And I basically made a funny joke. And I was like, who should I start a music beef with? Because, you know, rappers always have music beefs. And I was just making a joke about why not, as a saxophonist, I should have beef too. Something like that. It's it's lighthearted humor. It's just for engagement and, and for giggles and whatnot. Anyways, I had all these funny answers. And one person said Bloods and Crips. I reshared it, not thinking anything of it. Because, like I said, it's all jokes. And we should be able to have comedy and jokes on Instagram. Well, Instagram gave me a strike for that. And not only did I get shadow banned, but I got banned from being able to monetize. I got banned for being able to go live. And all of these things that I got banned for, it said I got banned for 90 days. And originally with Instagram, you wouldn't fully know if you're shadow banned, but now Instagram tells you that you're shadow banned because they have this feature that says your content can't be recommended on the explore page and on all the other ways that people go viral and get other views. And I tested it out and it really shadow banned me. I posted a reel and only my followers saw it and it got like a thousand views only when my reels tend to get 40K plus views. And the reason why I take issue with this is because Instagram uses AI technology to review things that people post and determine whether it's good or bad or should face consequences. The biggest problem with that is AI technology does not know context. You train AI based on all these different things that you feed it, but AI will never know context. And it's, a, you know, one of the rules with Instagram is that you can't promote gang violence. But I'm not promoting gang violence. I'm not saying I'm going to go out and do these things or that I support gangs or whatnot. I just made a joke. And you should be able to make a joke on Instagram within reason. And then in the review process, like you can appeal it. And the same thing happened. Instagram literally says we use our technology to determine. As in a real person doesn't look at your stuff. The computer does. The computer does not know context.
And a couple more things actually happened to me, uh, which led me to create this video. The next thing that happened to me is I'm a gym rat and I post about my gym stuff, right? I posted a picture uh, of me flexing my leg progress because I did leg day that one day and me showing my legs and my arms were out too, my muscles were out. Instagram's technology flagged that and said that I could be banned for showing nudity. There was no nudity in that picture. I had short, I had gym shorts on and I had a, a tank top on and it showed my legs and muscles. I didn't show my junk in that picture. Now I was able to delete, delete that picture because they gave me the option to delete it before I face consequences. I wish it could always do that, but now the, the actual reason why I made this video, this happened to me literally yesterday. Like I told you, I'm a professional musician. I did a gig where I was playing with a band at the opening of a new dispensary in Queens, New York. Weed is legal in New York City, if y'all don't know. So we were performing at this grand opening. When looking at this nice new dispensary, I saw that they had some real nice kiosks where it's a touchscreen kiosk where you can scroll through what type of marijuana products you want to purchase. And I was going to put a, a screen recording of what I'm talking about, but I don't know if YouTube will ban me or not. So just use your imagination. But I took a video of that because I thought it was really cool. Like it's like it's like when you go to McDonald's and they have those kiosks now where you can order burgers, but instead it's marijuana products. And so I took a video of that because I thought it was cool. And I put it on my close friend story. I didn't even put it on the main story. I put it on the private story, the close friend story. And within five minutes Instagram's AI technology took it down and it accused me of selling drugs because the thing is you don't get in trouble if you show weed on Instagram I don't think you get in trouble if you're selling weed or if you're selling drugs or if you're selling guns if you're selling those type of things and because it had the marijuana products with the prices beside them it assumed that I that I was advertising those prices and that I was showing the weed to be purchased I'm not selling marijuana products you know what I'm saying I just think it's such a flawed system because some of us our career does depend on social media some some of us our businesses and what we do heavily depends on what social media can bring and I just think that first off AI is not ready to be used by itself without actual human review but second these type of things should be taken more seriously I mean I, I really wish I could have an actual human being look at that and also my issue with the appeal process is that I can't type out my reasoning I can't type out an explanation it just gives me some prompts to answer and that's it, which is not in depth and it doesn't cover all bases. One thing I like about YouTube, I uploaded a video with my music, which by the way, my new album came out and y'all should listen to it. I uploaded a video with my new music and it flagged my video for copyright. And then I was able to explain it by typing it that no, I own the rights to this song and this is my song. And it was taken care of in the matter of a couple hours or so, like, I was able to monetize that video again because YouTube read my stuff and they're like, oh, okay, this is your song, you're good. But Instagram doesn't do that. So in conclusion, Instagram doesn't care about creators. Instagram has a lot of bugs and issues that they need to fix. I mean, I know Meta runs all this, so maybe I should say Meta should do this. But Meta doesn't care about its creators because if you cared about your creators, you would spend more time in trying to make sure that things are working for us and making sure that we're getting fair processes and trying to fix issues or trying to appeal things that you took in the wrong way. But until that happens, I'm just going to put mo most of my energy towards YouTube because I really hate Instagram. As a musician who's trying to get a, a larger fan base and trying to get people to come to my shows and whatnot, Instagram is very important and if I get banned from Instagram, you know, I'm definitely going to be real messed up about it because now I'm going to have that feature taken away from me to where I can get people to come to my shows by posting on social media. Because, you know, not all the people on Instagram follow me on TikTok or on YouTube. And so I'm going to be missing out on a huge amount of people that I have access to. 
with that being said, I'm going to continue to do the things I do. I'm going to continue to do my email newsletter and everything else uh, that I use to promote my music and to grow my career. So if you want to see how it is being a musician in New York City, I actually have a series called What It's Like Being a Musician in New York City on YouTube. So you should subscribe to me about uh, on that and subscribe to both of my Instagram accounts. All the links will be in the description below because in case one gets banned, I still have another Instagram account. Follow me on TikTok and go check out my new music. I'm selling vinyls for my new album that just came out last week on Bandcamp. And if you want to stream my music, my, my music is all, on all streaming platforms. Thank you for listening. My name is Brunel Jones II, and y'all have a good one.